about um, free resources. Um, first thing is a memo, so it does not know whether we meet every Saturday. It's, it's free. It's free of charge if you need more content. Uh, if you don't know, it's part of the mem um, free resources available on YouTube. But this is one of them. Every Saturday, Adapt and Class meet um, on Zoom. And this is the ID and the passcode. So um, if you don't know about it, I'm sorry, but this is what it is. You can just log in every Saturday. It's 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. So I just want to let you guys know if you um, you don't know about it, the person was a member and is acting about. So they couldn't find the code. It's on the website, um, on the YouTube site, so you can get access to it easily. So Saturdays. This is the link. Okay, guys. Um, you know, I'm just you know that to just uh before I leave, just a quick information, and we can share as usual on the go learning, right? Um, the other question is, hey, how do you, how do you study for the anchors? You know, well, um, I, I, there's no magic bullet, right? But I can give you a blueprint, you know, that you can use um, to study for your anchors physically. It's a blueprint. What do you want to do? It's all depend on what, how you want to accomplish it. Okay, how you want to accomplish your anchors. Um, learning process and what you want to do it. It's very good if you just come up with the study plan. So just have a well structured study plan. Steady plan as much as possible. Just time yourself, you know, and don't clamp everything. Don't say, I have four weeks to learn. No way. I mean, I will never study, um, book my exams without no means studying. So don't schedule your exams before. I mean, and you should give yourself time before you decide, hey, I'm going to do it in two weeks. No, just have a plan and then a well stretched uh, steady plan and then stick with it. You know, if you have to go to the gym, yeah, go to the gym, but stick with it. Don't um, use some of the times to do other things, right? And then uh, I like systems. I think systems is the best way to study rather than taking topics. Go through the system, and when you go through the systems, you connect the dot. Right? If you take cardiovascular system, you can do all the pharmacology, everything associated, the prioritization and everything is much, much better. You can take a this thing and not take a note. Okay. You have to take a note. Because if you have a week or two to take exams, you, you can just go back to all these videos. I mean, that's like frustrating. You know, you gotta wait some of the videos, you know, it, it takes a long time. Whatever video resource you're using. Yeah, it's fine with me, but just make sure you take notes so that you just review those notes and then highlight those points, right? And you got to practice, right? Practice some questions. I'm talking about high quality and, and, and clear style questions. And then if you check Adapt and Clear videos, you will see that these questions are like, they look like an clear style of question because it's well thought of, brevity is very short, not a bunch of ways you're very straightforward there's a concept is being tested i mean you can find any q bank you want adapt and class as a mini q bank um associated with the demand on demand and i have like four assessments if you want to take one of them you can send me an email now I'll, I'll give you um anybody want to take it i would like to try one of them this the assessment is 85 questions, you have 24 hours to take it. Uh, after 24 hours, we just take it off. So just find a QBank that you will practice high quality, right? High quality questions. And then don't just do the questions and read the rationale. You just, it's not good. You have to ask yourself, why? Every question, ask yourself, why? Um, why, why, why? If you're reading the question, there's a why behind it. And if you don't know the why, then, then you have a problem in terms of, and you end up doing all you do is just memorize the answer choice. 
And so when you see the similar question that is twisted in it a little bit, you pick the answer that you know. The concept is has changed, and the anklets would do that. Those who've taken it to have heard from them. No, they see the same question five times. Why? Because they change one word for me, and it changed the whole stem of the question. That is concept. That's board style question. I can ask you about kumudin or warfarin. I can ask you so many ways, but each question is asking different things, even though it's the same pathology, right? Right? And then, um, no one says, your weakness. Okay. Come on, man. We all have weaknesses, right? Uh, just because you know pharmacology, you just spend all six weeks studying pharmacology. Well, you don't know. You take the anklets and they give you one question about maternity. And the, the computer will say, mm, you're not good at maternity. Let me load you with maternity. And they will slam you with maternity. Six, seven questions. And he said, oh, yeah, we got you now. And then we will put you down through that. They keep on digging. That is the way. We'll dig through that subject. And then so you got to, like, work on your weakness. But you, you will know everything, okay? You will not know everything. You don't expect to know everything in the end class. But you got to be like even killed. That's the way I call it. Even killed. You kill in evening. And so the computer will know, okay, if I give him a question of pharmacology, he's most likely going to answer it. Or uh, infectious disease. So they throw everything at you rather than keep on digging at one point. So even kill. And the last one. Hey, we are human, right? We are human. So um, you got to take care of yourself. Um because it's about exams, it's not going to be easy. Um, it's going to be tough. So take care of your body. You know, so find some time and then regroup. You know, tell yourself this is a journey, it's a race. Okay. Don't think about your friend passing and you have no pass. Keep at it. I call it keep charging. If you heard me before, those of you watching my video, there's a reason why I call keep charging. You're charging yourself up no matter what. And you keep on. You take an assessment. You don't do well. Well, don't cry. You know, just like uh, the tears will go away. And keep charging at it. And keep on doing what you're doing. Your time will come. Seven steps for adapting class and class preparation. And I know you got it. Okay? Anybody have any questions? But that's the way to approach the question. That's the way to go by. Okay? So, um, before I leave, um, I will show you something how what I've said can all be put together in a very easy way. Like I said, in English, I just want to trick you and see what you think, right? You know, steady, go by system, take notes, practice, ask yourself why, work on your weakness, and take, take care of yourself. And keep charging, as always. Now, briefly, you are the nest. You, you, the nest. You are the nest. Okay, I'll give you a bunch of statements, and you tell me if it's bad. And you assessing one. You are assessing an um, 87-year-old patient, right? 87-year-old client. You are assessing 87-year-old client um, in the emergency room. You are assessing 87-year-old client. So one, 87-year-old female client, right? Number two, in the emergency room. She she lives alone, right? And 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 she's widowed, right? And she's un unemployed. Okay, so she she's retired like over ten years ago. Right. And then she has chronic back pain. 
hypertension, diabetes, and CHF. We deny any alcohol, right? No ETH or substance abuse. This is what I wanted to stop paying attention when you're studying. You see, I'm, there's something I'm trying to, if you looking at it, I'm going to a certain point, right? Um, there's something going on here, you know, no history of um, mental health, right? But what is the problem? She's very aggressive. She's very impulsive. She has an impulse control problem. What do you think I'm trying to tell you? What do you think I'm trying to tell you? What can you see? This simple case, what do you think is portraying? What is it portraying? Simple, straightforward case. There's something I'm trying to tell you. So what do you think? Anybody have an idea? What am I trying to be? What am I trying to be? It's not a new passcode. It's the same passcode. So what... What is this? Can you figure out? I see, I've not asked you a question, but you should be able to say, mm, there's something here that is not right. Advanced age, female, live alone, widow, retired 10 years ago, chronic back pain, denying alcohol abuse, no mental, and has impulse control. What is that Dr. Enclash trying to take your mind to? What is it trying to take your mind to? Abba, what, which one is concerning? Which one is concerning? Or oh, which one is, yeah, which one do you think is concerning? Concerning related to, I'll give it away, suicide. From the beginning, you can tell what I'm trying to tell you. But which one you think is concerning for suicide? This lady has a um, bunch of risk factors for suicide. If I'm reading this case, that will be one thing that will come to my mind. That's not good. It's a safety problem, so yeah, suicide. So which one do you think is concerning related to suicide? As you can see, you know, there's a bunch of issues here that we should focus on. I can tell you uh, age is a bad problem. Advanced age is not good. Advanced age is no good at all. Impulse control is no good. This is high risk for suicide. So she has number one, she has number two. She live alone, number three. Right? What does make a high risk for suicide? She's widowed. Number four. What else? Retired 10 years ago and the husband is gone. That's not good. I can tell you this is protective. These are protective features. So this protects the patient. No mental health problem. This is also protective. 
We're that bad, this. What about that? How did that play a role? This is what we call, it's a chronic disease. Chronic disease is a problem. It leads to depression and then suicide ideation. So this is a normal five. So she has five risk factors for suicide. We need to take care of this patient as much as possible. Otherwise, she's 87, advanced age, live alone, she's widowed, she's retired, she's not working, and then she's chronic problem. She has impulse control. All we need to do is take her to church. So social involvement. You know, if she's a deacon at church, you know, she has a, a role play in the community. This will negate most of the information here. So these are the things when you, this is why NCLEX is not, it's a little bit not fun, but sometimes these are the things you start to connect the dot. You see, just connect the dot. And you can get a case like that, and then you they will throw you away. You can figure out your, your first step, but this is the way I want you guys to think. Okay, this is the way I want you to think about um, and clay stuff when you're going through and then you can um, you become like manageable okay when you're going through it that you become manageable as much as possible so what did the nurse do what do you think the nurse do well we help her get some help and by in the process of doing that this is how the nurse attempted to do it she was very helpful and she did everything she can. What, she, what did she do? So I'm claiming this. So what did she do? She let the, let the client make all decisions without Coercion. Then to um, she provided safety and protection to the client by telling case manager to how about the condition you know what I'm doing right this is management okay that's what I'm thinking right the nurse I mean eh, promised the patient and then kept the promise to do this for her after the examination And in despite her agenda, or a socioeconomic status, she did it without thinking twice. Right? And she did good for the patient. And try as much as possible not to harm the client. And she was truthful, okay, about what is going to happen. Very, very truthful. What do you think she has done? What has the nurse done? What do you guys think she did? 
She let the client make all decision without coercion. What is that? Provide safety and keep a promise. And then despite a patient socioeconomic status, she did everything without not thinking. And she was good, trying not to harm the client and was what it was for. What information am I trying to tell you? You guys know it. I'm not giving you the answer, but you know it, right? It's on the go, right? So what do you think this is? What does he do? She did good for the client. What is that? What do you guys think? She did good. What is that? Who know it? Or truthful about what is going to happen? There's a word for that. So what is number one? What is number one? What is number one? What is number one? So what does she do at number one? Number one is autonomy. She let the patient, she was, she, by letting patient make her own decision, that's autonomy, right? And then number two, provide safety and protection by telling case manager about the condition. This is advocating. She was advocating for the patient, right? And then number three, she kept her promise. What does that mean? I kept my promise and I was truthful. What is the difference between keeping your promise and keeping uh, being truthful? Keeping promise and being truthful. What is the difference? There is difference between keeping your promise and being truthful. What is the difference? Keeping your promise is fidelity, right? And being truthful is veracity. So that's what she did. She demonstrated multiple ethical um, principles by telling the truth, she shows veracity and keeping a promise, she shows fidelity. And try not to harm the client by being beneficent, right? Try not to harm him by no malfeasance and did good for the client by being normal, uh, beneficent. And despite the client gender and socioeconomic status, she shows justice. Ethical principle you're supposed to know, right? This is adapting, Chris. So I just want to show you some, these are the things, you know, it's small, small things, you connect the dot and it makes sense. So these are eth ethical principles. You should know the board is not going to ask you that. You see what I did, I put in the case form and I ask you, what does that mean? But you know it, you just have to connect the dot and be sharp, right? Have a plan, steady by system, Make yourself available. Think about your awareness. Don't forget that it's a journey. It's a hard stuff. It's doable. And that that thing place gets you back. Okay. So once again, um, on Saturdays we have it's the same code. We have classes three to four. It's free, free of charge. Um, every Saturday three Eastern time. So note the date. And then if you want to join our review, it's next week. Like I said, you get a, um, a Q bank that has like four or five assessments you can take with some questions but on demand. But these are the topics will be, and then online, you can go to adapt and www.adaptandclassreview.com www in the live crash, crash course, you can register. 
But and then you can email me. But if you want to take some of the assessment, you can email me. I'll give you a code. Twenty four hours. You take care of yourself. But you see what I did. You think your board doesn't do that? They would just. They don't have any questions. You just take the information and just put body to it, and they're trying to present like it's a hard thing. You already know it's a picture representation. Take care of yourself and be good. Keep charging as always. All the best.